consecutive defeats this season but they've always managed to turn it around and they find themselves well clear of Finn Harps at the moment cross comes in on oh, it's brilliant from him and Colin McCabe has to get down and make a save spectacular stuff from promise on oh, and uh, Colin McCabe maybe caught a bit off guard by that one got down and made a good save Paul yeah it's clever isn't it it's just a, to get a, little, a little short out there on a 2v1 on a throw in and great delivery and he takes it on his chest you just think Cowan's going to come in and try and get a header over his shoulder Gary Deegan and Luke Heaney does really well to keep it in play and he's been filling in very adeptly at right back and now Darren Newton has nicked it away and he's got he men the in the right box pass. and he put oh. it between two of them but it's back to Rooney and he's missed somehow well, for a moment, they didn't think the ball was going to make it back to Dale Rooney, but it eventually did. It seemed to take an eternity. And then the goal, well, not quite at his mercy, but not a million miles off it. About probably only about eight yards out. Just pick the right pass. Wait, wait, now. Uh, you just think it's the wrong ball. Doherty just got caught on his heels, a little bit slow to turn. And the shot, well, maybe Doherty had that covered. If he'd hit, it, hit the target, it would have been blocked. But really sloppy defending from Bohemians getting caught there by... Nugent, goal Good scorer. Good referee for me. He's, he's, he's barraged him all right, yeah. But yeah, just a shunt into the back yeah, yeah, by, uh, by Weir. So he gets a little warning from the referee, but nothing more. And the ball oh, is played through, and this is going to be a goal, surely. He's come back off the post, it's oh, cleared yeah. off the line. Well, Drada's goal is leading the most charmed of existences at the moment, because again, Amashair got through, toe-poked it past Colin McCabe, and the Bohemians fans listening and watching, and watching over on that far side, must be in disbelief possession just inside the Bows half it's Marky galloping forward he's got Deegan making a break to his left Gary Deegan the furthest man forward it's not too often you see that Marky hits the deck and it's back to Nugent he is a crack and it's Ooh, I think it's just tipped over the bar by the keeper it was dipping towards that far top corner and Ty Ryan was taking no chances with it it's good advantage from the referee Deegan's having a word to think about the pull on Marky but he's just let the play go isn't he he's just let it go there you see him sticking his hand up and it's going to be Dale Rooney to take it. He's got Darren Nugent now at the back post. Cowan has made his way into the middle. It's floated towards Nugent. He gets up and breaks back towards Evan Weir. Is he going to have a shot? He is. And it's, well, for a moment I thought it was going to go into that far corner, but it was uh, close enough to tie grind. They can get across and make a, a good save, but a decent effort from Weir again, Paul. Yeah, it's good hit again. It's first torch gives him a chance again. Excellent first torch, as I said a few minutes ago as well, inside the box, taking things down out of the sky. He's great feet and he's not afraid to whack things from them distances. It's a slip there, Keith Cowan, and now it's Bert over on the far side. He can cross this in. He's got Junior on a chair. Both of them are in there. He's got Swords it. On a chair at the back post. He's on oh, his own and it's clipped the outside of the post. He's come back into play. You could just see Heaney getting caught under the ball as soon as the ball left his foot from Bert, and he did. And oh, it's a chance again. Yeah, you called it, Paul, the second the ball was played. Junior and on chair were both in there and went over the head of Junior. And he, he got a little bit too tight to Junior there. I'm not quite sure why he got drawn in because Keith Cowan had the former Dundalk striker wrapped up, it looked like, and Promise Summer Share gets his head in it and it comes back off the post the second time the, the bow striker has hit the post tonight. Got to go across the goal, hasn't he? Junior's uh, pulling wide on this near side with, uh, with uh, Luke Heaney having to just keep an eye on, oh, on him. Nice. And it's a really oh. good play from Bohemians. Amish is in again. Will he get it away this time? It's a good save from McCabe. It's broken back to Junior. That was fantastic play from Bohemians. Lovely play from them, opening it up again. Oh, you won't see. you go a long way before you see better movement than that. And just one touch football. Oh. Heaney back in that right back position up in the air and Kelly goes up and wins the second header as well does really well Cowan gets the nod on it then but it's back with Bohemians and it's Burt he's been in and out of the game in the second half Burt but he just has that quality mm -hmm. and the shot comes in and it's gone into the top uh, corner was only just be beaten. he has that quality he's flitted in and out of the game at times Liam Burt he's caught it well but McCabe shouldn't be beaten for me well, it, was now a, again in the second. it was a great strike Liam Burt what did I just say an absolutely fantastic strike from him we'd like to see a replay of that one, we will in a moment because Paul thinks that Colin McKay maybe should have done better but it was a hell of a strike, it dipped into that far top corner, I just think it goes through his hand somewhat, it might be wrong, we'll see it now again here it is again it bro broke back to him, the shot comes in and it just goes over just big sure. man I think Get beaten from there See great it again move. Here. Listen, it's a great move into feet. Just steps off, ball over his feet, catches it well. Yeah. He's uh, well, he's that's been it. knocked off there, and I think that's going to be it. It's all over. Dardy United have been beaten at home by Bohemians. 
it was an absolutely cracking game. Burt's goal in the 76th minute. A great strike from outside the box. Colin McCabe got a fingertip to it, but he couldn't keep it out. Yeah, no, it's a very open game with um, lots of chances at either end. Um, I think there's shouts for penalties at both ends, if I'm honest. You know, in the away dugout, you know, down the the opposite end, it's hard to see. Um, but but certainly, I thought our one was very clear cut in, in the in the first half. But I try to, I'm sure we'll be saying something similar. So um, we we scored a good goal in the second half. It was well worked and. I suppose we, we held on to a clean sheet in an open game that was quite frenetic. Um, it wasn't a huge amount of quality at times. There was plenty of effort, plenty of endeavour, and a high quality goal from us, you know, separates the team. So we're pleased to have, to have hung on in there.